The Democratic People's Republic of Korea's socialism is the people-centered socialism, that is, Tsuchi-oriented socialism, which puts forward the masses of the people as the most precious beings and in which everything serves them. President Kim Il-sung said, Our country is socialist based on the popular masses. In our country, the people's individuality and their rights to independence are respected and protected substantially. In the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, a genuine system for guaranteeing people's rights is established under which all the people exercise their rights and freedoms to the full. In the DPRK, the people's political rights are provided fully and preferentially. Everyone is provided with a right to elect and to be elected. And this is guaranteed by several laws and regulations, including the Socialist Constitution of the DPRK. The elected deputies are the working people, like workers, farmers and intellectuals, who work devotedly for the independent rights and interests of the voters. 99.97% of the total voters participated in the election to the 13th Supreme People's Assembly held on March 9, 2014, and 100% of them casted their votes for the deputies. Every citizen has the right to freely express his or her opinions and thoughts through various mass media and is provided with the rights to literary work and creative activities. Freedom of assembly and demonstration is provided, and freedom of organization and activities is legally guaranteed for democratic political parties and social organizations. Anyone with a certain level of knowledge and abilities has the right to freely participate in the state's administration as civil servants. People are provided with the right to freely choose and believing in ideology and religion. The Tsuchi idea, which thoroughly defends and champions the people's independence, guarantees genuine people's rights. The Korean people believe in the Tsuchi idea and think and behave as required by this idea. Unlike the propaganda by the Western mass media, the freedom of religion is fully provided. There are different religious organizations in the DPRK, and their activities are fully guaranteed by law. Foreigners visiting or staying in the DPRK enjoy the freedom of religious belief. Citizens' rights like physical and mental rights and right to property are fully guaranteed under the law in the DPRK.
In the DPRK, where men's independence is considered as its life and soul, prostitution, human trafficking, forced labor, and child labor never exist. In the DPRK, the rights to economic activities and economic life are fully guaranteed for the people. All the citizens who have reached the age for labor are entitled to choose their jobs according to their wishes and skills, irrespective of sex, nationality, and social affiliation, and they are provided with stable jobs and working conditions according to the socialist labor law of the DPRK. As the right to labor is fully provided, labor is regarded as being noble and honorable. And the working people work with voluntary enthusiasm and creativity for the prosperity of the country, the people's welfare, and their own happiness. Under the direct concern and care of the party and the state and their people-oriented policies, the people enjoy the right to be fully provided with satisfactory living standards. Continuously improving the people's standard of material and economic life is the supreme principle of the activities of the Workers' Party of Korea and the state. Ordinary people are provided with palatial dwelling houses free of charge. This is an advantage of the DPRK's socialism that capitalism can neither imitate nor imagine. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea fully ensures the social and cultural rights of the people, aimed at satisfying their cultural and emotional needs. All the people learn to their heart's content under the benefit of the free secondary general education, and this benefit reaches even those children in remote mountainous regions and far-flung islands. The higher education is also free of charge. And the students receive a scholarship from the state, and those who are studying while working receive a service salary.
The state pays a special concern for creating conditions and environment conducive to fully providing the right to education. All the working people are provided with the rights to scientific research and cultural and emotional life. Everyone conducts free literary work or creative activities, and the intellectual property rights are protected by law. Those who have made outstanding contributions to the development of science and technology receive awards like honorary title and bonus. Many modern cultural recreation grounds, establishments for cultural and emotional life, cultural and welfare facilities, and sports facilities have been built recently in many parts of the country. The happy images of the working people enjoying civilized cultural and emotional life to their heart's content in these places show the bright future of the DPRK's socialism. The people prevent diseases and protect their health under the benefit of the universal free medical care system and the preventive medical system. In PRK, where the people are considered as the most precious beings, all medical treatments and services, ranging from medical examination to dispensing medicine, are free. All the citizens enjoy their right to good health, receiving comfortable medical treatment in modern hospitals without paying any doctor's fee or charge for medicine. In the DPRK, where everything serves the people, the unique section doctor system is established to prevent diseases and promote the working people's health. Doctors conduct preventive treatment, visiting and taking care of the people in their charge all the time. This can be found only in the DPRK, where the state takes responsible care of the people's health from cradle to grave. In the DPRK, where everyone enjoys equal rights, the right for specific groups like women and children is fully ensured. Gender equality being realized long before, women are provided with equal status and rights with men under law. Women enjoying the right to elect and to be elected freely and actively take part in the election and the state's administration. They take part in worthwhile labor, enjoying preferential treatments like paid maternity leave. Particularly, pregnant women receive regular medical checkup and treatment, and enjoy various state benefits for their health after delivery. These are just parts of the rights women of the DPRK enjoy. In the DPRK, where children are regarded as kings, every child is provided with equal rights. The children give full play to their wishes and talents. Enjoying free education and free medical treatment, irrespective of the sex positions of their parents or guardians, property status, and physical defect. Trains, ships, and buses run even for a few school children. There are branch schools for a few children in mountain villages and far-flung islands. 
vehicles carrying soybean milk run for school across streets, and all school children receive school uniforms and school things free of charge. All these tell that the children in the DPRK are the happiest in the world. The government of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea follows it as the state policy to respect the elderly and take responsible care of their life and health, and provides them with a civilized and happy life. At the modern Pyongyang rest home built under the warm affection and care of respected Kim Jong-un, the elderly spend the rest of their lives in comfort, and those who are over 100 years enjoy benefits bestowed by the state like birthday spreads. In the DPRK, people with disabilities are provided with rights, freedom and interests equally with healthy people, with their personality being respected. June the 18th is designated as the Day of People with Disabilities, and on this day every year, activities to better protect and help people with disabilities are carried out socially. And according to the principle of protecting these people, they are provided with the rights to medical treatment, education, labor, and cultural life. In particular, those who devotedly serve the country and the people, like honorary disabled ex-service personnel, are recorded preferential treatment socially. The DPRK's socialism is the most superior and people-centered socialism, which provides the people with full and thoroughgoing rights. 